Welcome to Mumming It in Japan. I'm Lindsay. Um, I have two young boys. One is three years old and the other is 11. I've been here in Japan now for about almost 12 years. Um, I gave birth, well, I got pregnant here, I gave birth, all the whole works. Now I'm working here in Japan with my two kids and daycare and I decided why not start a vlog about how different and exciting and difficult about living here as a foreign person in Japan with kids. Um, today I want to talk about that first step. You're late. Ladies, you know what I mean. You're late. And what do you do? Back home in Canada, I would probably get down to the pharmacy, the, the supermarket, and grab a pregnancy test first. Throwing in a bunch of big chips, chocolate bars, hiding it under there because I'm from a small town and people gossip. But here in Japan, people aren't so bad. They're not so nosy as much. Um, if you go down to the local pharmacy and you head towards probably, I'm just saying, usually it's where I find it, um, in the, the medicine area, the band-aids, all that little spot area, you should find some pregnancy tests there. They're pretty similar to the ones back in Canada. Actually, there's a famous brand one that they use there as well as here. Anyway, I'll get to that later. Um, yeah. So you go down there and you find it, and usually they'll have one in a box or two or maybe three. Usually it'll cost around 500 yen to 2,000 yen, so about $5 to $20, um, if you can't find it. Here are the words that you need to know. So for a pregnancy test, you need to know is nishin um, yaku for one. There's also a name you can use, nishin um, Hante testo, which is another word. Yeah, there's two. Anyway, but you got the test. And how do you use the test? It's easy. You just pee on it, pee on the stick for a couple seconds, or you can put it in a pee in a cup and hold it in there for a couple seconds. And wait a minute. Usually there are two lines. One line means you're not pregnant. It's just a, the normal line. The make to make sure it's working. And then another one comes up, means you're pregnant. <laughs> um, but yes, uh, if you don't want to go to the pharmacy, you can also buy them on Amazon or Rakuten. Um, if you check out my blog, I have a couple links where you can find them, as well as some vocabulary that you should know if you're pregnant, like the how to find a pregnancy test and everything. I also have on my blog um, instructions on how to use the pregnancy test and some pictures of some different pregnancy tests. The top three pregnancy tests here I recommend are um, do test is number one on Amazon, so that's really a bestseller. Um, as well as Clear Blue, it's a big blue package, easy to find. And uh, there's also one more. The third one is the one that's really popular in Canada and the States. It's called um, Check One, that's what it's called, Check One. And in that one, it has English instructions, yes. That one's a good one to note if you do not understand Japanese or you don't want to try to figure it all out when you're all panicked. <laughs> but yeah, that's it today um, with Mumming at Japan. Um, oops, you may be pregnant, you may not be. Uh, next time I want to talk about finding a clinic or a hospital where you want to confirm your pregnancy and deliver your baby. So thanks for checking in today, guys. I'll see you later. Bye.